Hello everyone, this is Crafterman, and welcome to another episode of Minecraft Green Plateau. So today, I'm not going to be teaching in the college, I am going to be learning. And Sandy and Express has set up some things for me. He set up my report card in a chest. I haven't looked at it yet. I want you all to see my reaction, like, on camera, live. Well, not live exactly, but... And also, I am going... I am going to fight some mobs, which you'll see in a sec, and then he's going to watch this video, and in the next episode, maybe, he's going to grade me on how well I fought. So my report card is in here. Weather report. Did he mean to... I think he meant to write weather report card, but he didn't finish. So, let's see. Report card. Analyzing data. C. Listening slash not interrupting. D minus. What? Well, I guess. Yeah, because he tried to tell me how to analyze weather, and I just interrupted him. Causing weather. A plus. Yeah, I was like, Zeus, you suck, and then it started raining. A overall average. C plus. Not great, but it could have been worse. So I'm just going to put this back here. And the sun is setting. So I'm about to do what I said I was going to do the mob fighting thing. He said, uh, kill at least one mob with each weapon. He wants to see which weapon I'm the best with. And I, I already know that it's an axe, but... Yeah, so the emeralds, they all do about the same attack damage. So let's start with the emerald spade, since that's going to be the hardest. And all I have to do is kill one mob. Maybe I'll light up the school so mobs don't spawn the school itself. I mean, I keep calling it school, college. So, I'm just going to wait for them to come in like they did a few episodes ago. And, Raj, be safe, okay? And I hear James Pond in there, the principal. Uh, okay, there's a spider somewhere over there. A few spiders. And there's a zombie. Does the zombie see me? I'm not sure if you guys can see him. Yeah, I think he sees me. So, zombie, you gonna die. Oh. Does he even see me? I think I just saw a wild wolf spawn. Okay, first mob of the day. Ah, this is already not really going well. Oh, he was carrying a torch. And I think it's because I broke a torch. So this, this is one of the main entrances to the school, because this isn't really a wall, it's just signs. So yeah, and I think I see a spider sinking in quicksand. So I got that over with. I killed it with an emerald spade. That's it for now. So next, the um, diamond pickaxe. How well will I do with that? And I am running low on food. So yeah, it's not great. Because what if I run out of food? That will suck. I won't be able to regen. I could actually die. <laughs> Eh. Okay, these mobs are just not attacking. They're just chilling out over there. Which is unacceptable. Either attack or don't. Stop leaving me in suspense. Uh. You know what? I should really just. While I'm waiting for them to do something, I'm just going to get some food myself. Uh. From the cooking room. Home and career, I guess. Home economics. Whatever you want to call it, whatever class is like cooking, here it is. Some sugar cane. Here's the wheat. So here we go, and then I replant these like so. Do I have bones on me by any chance? Nope. I'm just gonna make some bread and. Yeah, I gotta grind the bones to make bone meal to make bread. <laughs> Just like in, uh, what's it, that, uh, fairy tale, Jack and the Beanstalk. I'll grind his bones to make my bread. I literally grinding bones to make bread here. <laughs> but, uh, actually bread, not bread as in food. Uh, you know what, maybe I'm not gonna do it in the school, maybe I'll just go... Mob hunting in the field, but first, I got to have a snack. 
It's always good to have a snack while fighting, right? Yeah. Uh. Okay, there is a creeper, and... Oh, I think I got rid of my diamond pickaxe. Okay, I actually killed it before it exploded. I'm doing well. So, yeah, I always do well with axes. I need to grind your bones to make my bread. Aw, oh, you didn't drop any bones? Ah, uh, okay, you drop bones, please. Okay. I think that was one bone. I thought I saw a zombie somewhere holding an aqueous blade. But I can't really be sure. Okay, over there. I need I want a free aqueous blade. So yeah. See right over here. That is an aqueous blade. And a skeleton just shot me somewhere. And the zombie did not drop the aqueous blade. So I came all the way here out of my comfort zone just to not get knocked by a spider. No, no, the sheep is thinking. I don't have time to help you. It's a good thing there are no endermen. Then I would really panic. Oh, creeper? That's it. Fall in quicksand. Because I really don't care about you because you are a creeper. Of course I don't care. So, oh, there's a witch. Maybe I'll start using my pickaxe now. Please don't poison me. What the? No, that's not fair. Okay, die. No, actually, I'm not gonna fight now. Because I have this stupid poison. Okay, are they still chasing me? No, I'm gonna die. No. Wait. I think my arm is holding up. That's weird. Okay, gotta hide. Okay, one more second. Good. Wait, how am I regenerating? I don't have hunger. Wait, am I on peaceful? No, I can't be. I just got attacked by skeletons. Weird. Okay, where'd the skeletons go? Uh, maybe I'll just go in here for now. And, yep, I'm gonna grind some bones to make some bread. Okay, here's a tip. Never attack witches when you're near other mobs. Like, ever. That is how you die a lot of the time. If you want to die, that's a great idea. But, seriously, don't. So I got four wheat can make one more loaf of bread and yeah now let's go some kill some more mobs so okay there's a zombie over there yeah come on die don't go in there going in there is not allowed in there is illegal territory you must not go to the lands of in there Oh, there are a lot of mobs over here. Ah, uh, I hate big golem. I mean, mini golems and big golems, or any kind of golem. Oh, the big golem gave threw emerald seeds at me. Out of all the things it could have thrown at me, it threw emerald seeds at me. Not a very creative decision. Okay, I think Sandian Express is gonna give me a terrible grade for my pickaxe fighting. Even though he could actually deflect arrows with a pickaxe. I don't know how he did that, but he did. Like, um, the resolution of my video wasn't good enough to see it, but he was actually deflecting arrows when he fell into the skeleton spawner. Okay, that's a lot of skeletons. I'm gonna keep my distance from all those guys. Okay, time to use a stone sword. And now, my final challenge. Killing all of these guys. Because I really suck. I'm going to try to turn them against each other. I'm going to stand right in the middle of the line of fire. Ah. Okay, I am totally getting shot to pieces here. Okay, good. Blew some of them up. Oh, the skeleton got into a fight with a zombie. Wow. That's convenient. Okay, one more. And I see an enderman by the school. Okay, there's, a, there's an enderman by the college. So I'm just gonna circle around the long way. 
And then I'm going to do the last thing I plan to do in this video. Oh, stop. Stop exploding. It's annoying. So, remember how Sandy and Express and Topazium were stranded in the... Oh, foo, I'm hungry. In the Emerald Dimension for, like, a long time? Uh, I... Oh, foo, this again? you got to be kidding me. Okay, I don't care that I'm hungry now. I'm just gonna run for it. Uh, gonna eat this rotten flesh, even though it's very hungry. Eating. And what other food do I have? Oh, by the way, I finished the wedding cake. Maybe I'll quickly show you guys that now. Uh... Or maybe slowly, because I don't want to run too fast. See? Has tons of cake on it. Like here, and you can actually go inside it if you want to. So, okay, one more. Okay, I survived. Did not die. So, remember how Sandy and Express and Topazium were stranded in the Emerald Dimension? Well, they actually made a pretty cool house in the Emerald Dimension. Okay, any mobs in here? No. Oh, I forgot to use my bow. I guess I can't be graded on that. Whatever. So, like I said, they made some pretty cool houses in the Emerald Dimension. And, yeah, it's actually pretty impressive what they did, those guys. So, I am going to go to the Emerald Dimension and show you guys that. Because ever since Topa Oh, there's Mosey right there. Ever since Topazium and Sandy and Express got out of the Emerald Dimension from the portal in the Death Star, they actually... We're able to patch it up from the other side and fix it, so now we can travel back and forth again. Just like normal. So, okay, I'm, should I run or should I not? Because if it, yeah, if I lose one more bar of anything, it's going to be, I can't sprint anymore, it will really suck. I need my sprints, okay. I can make it. Come on, just a few more steps. Yes! I made it! And the Emerald Dimension, it's like you have auto-regeneration. And you don't get hungry. It's almost like you're in peaceful, even though I know I'm not. So, I'm just gonna kill these squids, because squids will spawn. They won't... In my world, it's usually like nothing spawns and nothing despawns, but here it's like normal. The way Minecraft ought to be. The way it should be. So, let me just go this way. Follow the torches. I forget exactly where their house is. I have the coordinates written down somewhere. But yeah, I've actually heard that blazes spawn in the Emerald Dimension. I'm not, I don't want to find out if that's true. Normal mobs don't, but I think I've heard somebody tell me that blazes spawn, but I haven't seen it myself. So, yeah, I can't. maybe they're just playing around with me. So, this is their house. And the best part about the Emerald Dimension is the mining. Like, diamonds are about as rare as gold. Gold's about as rare as redstone. Redstone's about as rare as iron. Iron's about as rare as coal. And emeralds underground are about as rare as rocks. Basically, they're very common. See? These are all blocks of emeralds. This is Topazium's house. Since uh, they had to guess what time I'd be on my server, they didn't have t much time to build. Topazium is a really fast builder, so he got th this, all this done in like two hours. It's a nice little house. It looks like almost Greek or something. And here are the furnaces and stuff. But this is just Sandy and Express's little sort of house. He did go mining and get, got some stuff. He got calamari. Cool. And squid meat. Diamonds. Maybe I'll just steal some of his stuff because I need the, those diamonds. Yeah, so Sandy and Express is a pretty good miner. Not as good as Kaboominator, of course. Nobody is. But, yeah. Still pretty good, and he got a lot of stuff. Um, what do I not need? Too bad the recycling plant isn't here or anything. I don't need this. So, yeah, maybe I'll just take some of this meat. 
I need the calamari. And maybe for the rest of the episode, I'm just going to cook the meat and then eat the meat. And there's some coal over here. I can get it and then cook in Topazium's house. It almost looks like the Parthenon. So, almost there and... Got it. I have got the coal. Oh, I'm using my diamond pickaxe. I should be using the super pickaxe. This isn't even mine. It's Sandy and Express's. He somehow got it. Maybe it's from the diamonds that he mined. Because this dimension has tons of diamonds. But mostly, underground has emeralds. I like that it's not like emerald dirt, emerald grass. It's just like a normal mushroom biome, but emeralds underground. And you have emerald cows occasionally. They are kind of rare, though. So... Gonna cook some calamari in this furnace. And still, the furnace design is really weird. And cook some squid meat in this furnace. And oh, more emeralds and more ink sacks and more coal. I didn't have to mind that. And grapes. I need grapes. I'm hungry. And some more emeralds. Oh yeah, baby, I'm rich. I don't need a stone hoe. So, what else do I not need? I don't need this bow. That rhymes because I got a better bow. And I already finished this calamari. Can you eat this? Yeah, it's actually yummy. Mmm, delicious, delightful, the whatever. So, yeah, I kind of stole all their food. But I don't care because I'm mean. So maybe I'll, I'll have some cooked squid my way back. But for now, guys, it's the end of this episode. And I will see you guys later. Bye! And I have an arrow in my ankle.